When you look at questions 9 and 10, um, what you would notice is that the uh, figures, if you took just the shadow or outline of these figures, they are identical to one another. Here's number 9, and here's number 10. Okay? There is a distinct difference, though, in the way that they're formed, and one is a pyramid, and one is a prism. So you do need to look very carefully at how the elements align. Uh, when you're looking at number 9 here, what you should see in classifying this solid is this one has two congruent and parallel triangular bases connected by rectangular lateral faces. So that means this is a prism uh, with a triangular base, so it's a triangular prism as far as its classification goes. If you were to identify these bases, they're these two parallel and congruent uh, triangular uh, bases. If you want to find out how many triangular faces does this solid has, have, it has two. It's the actual bases themselves. The number of rectangular faces in this, you have one rectangular face connecting each side of these parallel and congruent bases, so a total of three. And these are the lateral faces, which again makes this a triangular prism.